here I am to pick up my PC, get all the boxes and bring them back home. Quite a store. I'll show you some pictures inside in just a second. Okay, everybody, I'm in Central Computers in San Mateo, California, and here's my new PC. Well, no, not exactly. It's going to look a little different when it gets all assembled. And this is a tech support person that's been very, very helpful in getting all the components for me. This is Jared. Jared, what's your last name? Birmingham. Birmingham. Great. Like the city. <laughs> How long have you worked here? Um, for about five to six months. Really? Yeah. Well, you're very knowledgeable in all the components, and I really appreciate all your help. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Good deal. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this built and yeah, it should up be, and running. It should be a real fun uh, fun time. First build is always uh, a, little, a little nervous, but uh, it's always fun. Okay. Cool. Let's go pay for it. Yep. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Today is August 3rd. And as most of you probably know, on August 18th, Microsoft will release the Microsoft 2020 Flight Simulator. And uh, I want to be ready for it. I'm very excited about the program and its capabilities. And I want to have a very powerful computer to run it. So uh, here's my computer. I just got back from the computer store. And uh, these are all the components, and I've decided build my own. So let me just step you through very quickly what I procured. And this is more towards the high-end um, uh, performance capabilities recommended by Microsoft for the Flight Simulator program. So first of all, here's the NZXT compact mid-tower case that everything is going to fit in. Uh, and it's got a glass front and later on in the build I'll show that to you. So I'm just going to get that out of the way for now. Then the motherboard is right here. It's a Raj, and I may be mispronouncing this, Strix X570-E gaming motherboard. So all the memory, all the, uh, the CPU, uh, and uh, several of the components get populated on this motherboard and this afternoon this is going to be the first thing I do is to populate items on the motherboard. The processor that I chose is an AMD Ryzen and it's a, uh, well let's see I've got to go over here, sorry. It is a Ryzen 3700 and uh, it's about a $300 item and uh, actually I don't think there's any one item here that's more than $300. It's, it's rather amazing to me the capabilities that you get today for a personal computer versus when I first was in the business in 1981. Um, this is a GeForce RTX 2080 uh, device, and this is the graphics processor. This also has 8 gigabytes of memory on it uh, to help with the video that uh, certainly going to have with uh, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, this has a couple fans on it. This will uh, actually get uh, embedded in the case uh, down the build line. Some simple things. Here are four RGB fans and uh, these are not only powered but they uh, put out RGB color to increase the bling value of this computer. So that's kind of slick. I'm anxious to see what that looks like when we're all done. The power supply is a Corsair RM750X 80 gold. And um, this is supposed to be a very good uh, uh, product and uh, came highly recommended from the store that I bought this at. Then for storage, let's see, Right here is 32 gigabytes of RAM, if you can believe it. 
and I can't remember, I think the price of this was like $200. It just blows me away how much you can get for relatively little dollars. I mean, I think the early first IBM dual floppy PCs were roughly $4,500, and this will be built for less than half of that and probably have more computing power than General Motors had in 1970. And for high-speed storage, there's a Corsair MP600, and this is half, well, 500 megabytes, excuse me, 500 gigabytes of storage, high-speed storage, uh, you know, that will feed memory uh, with program and data. Then for slower speed storage, there's a Western Digital, digital two terabyte uh, rotating disk drive, two terabytes. A quick story, when uh, shortly after IBM came out with the PC in 1981, about 1982, IBM announced a 10 megabyte hard drive for that. And I can remember at the time, having worked for IBM, that who would ever need 10 megabytes? We've got all these floppies that we can put in on the machine. We, why do you need rotating storage in here? This is two terabytes. So that would be, well, one terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. And a thousand gigabytes is a thousand megabytes. And IBM came out with 10 megabytes. Well, anyway, things have changed over the years. Then finally, this is on a uh, thumb drive, I believe. So after I have the computer built, stick this thumb in the computer, power it up, and uh, this will boot up with uh, Windows 10. And then I should be able to load Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then also my video editing program, and go to town. Thank you very much for watching, and I will have more video as uh, I go through the build. Have a good afternoon. All right, here's the first portion of my build. Here's the motherboard on the anti-static pad. And I have inserted the AMD Ryzen CPU underneath this, and then also this cooling fan for that uh, CPU. Then these two DIMMs, which are 16 gigabytes each, giving me 32 gigabytes. And then finally found the connector for that uh, little cable. And it is labeled on the motherboard, but uh, finding it uh, would help to have 2020 vision. Anyway, so far so good, and it's fun. Well, everyone, I just returned from a computer store where I picked up my processing unit, and uh, I had them load Windows for me, and then burn it in overnight, make sure everything worked, and it did. And it's about just after noon on Friday. I got all the parts about noon on Monday. And uh, so for four days, I've got a brand new computer that I put together myself. I hate to say you build it because you're really not building too much. You've got major components that you're sticking on a motherboard and then putting in a case. And um, at this point, about all I have to do is put the back cover and the front cover back on and uh, put the panel on it, the monitor, I mean, and uh, fire it up and let it rip. So I'll be back to you later. Have a good afternoon. So everyone, here's my new personal computer build. This is what it looks like all put together, and I'm very happy with it at this point. And uh, we'll see next week when Microsoft Flight Simulator comes to market. And then this is the monitor that goes with it. It's a 34-inch Dell curved monitor. I'm very pleased with this also. So here I am rendering my first vlog, and you can see, man, this is 20 times faster than my prior machine. So this is really great. 
looking forward to this. Well, I'm sure everybody is interested to know what this all cost. And uh, let me give you a breakdown. The motherboard, $290. The AMD CPU, $290. The case, $75. The 32 gigabytes of memory, $180. The GPU, $730. And that was a $200 upgrade for me over what was initially recommended. The solid state drive, $115. That's half a <laughs> half a, a terabyte of storage there. The uh, SSD, $115. And uh, the power supply, $145. And Windows, $130. So it all comes out to about uh, $2,000 and uh, it could have been done for a little bit less if one wanted to save some money, but uh, I wanted to go, you know, all the way.